Starscream was searching for Energon. While doing so, he negatively commented on how he perceived himself as being reduced to searching for scraps. After falling and landing on ground, he began to hear a series of sounds and followed them, finding an Insecticon. Starscream immediately ordered the lone Insecticon to deliver its findings to him, but was met with refusal. He questioned if the Insecticon would dare to turn its back on a superior life form as he believed himself to be. He referred to himself as Commander Starscream and smacked the Insecticon in the back, causing it to launch after him. As the creature tried to get him after he went into a hole, Starscream realized he'd had enough and claimed that the Insecticon could keep the Energon, exclaiming that he hoped the latter choked on it. Just then, the Insecticon left him alone and went to and praised Arachnid. Starscream saw this as blasphemy, questioning the monster on how he could reject him as a commander while a savage like Arachnid was worshipped. Following Arachnid's explanation that she and the Insecticon were related, Starscream questioned why she was there. Arachnid revealed to him that she had become rogue as well and was in need of Energon, similarly to how he was. Starscream questioned if her expulsion from the Decepticons came from an encounter with the Autobots or if Megatron had invited her for a planned termination before she revealed that Megatron had no involvement and that his lackey was killed. Starscream tried to appeal to Arachnid over using the Insecticon at her disposal to rule the Decepticons, with both he and Arachnid as dual leaders. However, she revealed that she was not interested in his ambitions and instead attacked him with her Insecticon. Starscream would next contact Autobots Bulkhead and Ratchet again, detailing that he had information that would be found valuable and requested Ratchet once again bring his medical kit. As Ratchet told him to explain quickly, Starscream revealed that Arachnid had gone. However, he lied and stated that she planned to strike against humans, when in reality all she wanted to exact revenge on was Megatron. As Starscream offered the location of Arachnid's location, Ratchet claimed he did not believe the Decepticon. Starscream questioned why he did not, referencing the fact that he had told the group the location of the space bridge so they could revive Optimus Prime from his state of Orion Pax. However, Bulkhead reminded him that he stole Bumblebee's T-Cog. Starscream did not care and stated that Bumblebee got it back before revealing to the Autobots that Mech had taken his instead. During Arky's battle with Arachnid, she was webbed up and soon to be killed. However, Starscream intervened by firing at Arachnid and stayed behind with RC after she escaped from the scene. Starscream recollected that in a similar scene she allowed him to live and was expected by RC to kill her. However, Starscream merely cut her loose and told her to consider them even before walking off.